it's been quite a few years since we've seen each other. So to be able to come back to where it was actually taking place, albeit it's been a bit more glamorized, hasn't it, now since when we were here before. But it's still really special, like being in the Great Hall with everyone earlier was just incredible. Yeah, and, and also there's also a couple of guys on the crew who were on the crew when we were filming. So that's, that's also cool. They, no one ever speaks enough about the crew that made it as well. So that's cool to be reunited with those guys too. I always think that Fred and George really became like fan favorites, um, really because of the way they were in terms of their always up for having a laugh. So they were very much the comic relief to a lot of the storylines. Uh, but also I think people always thought I'd love to be pals with those guys. I did. That's what I think. Oh, yeah. yeah, Be a friend with me. (laughs) If I could say three things to myself, I'd say insist on a different haircut, have a lower voice, lower toned voice, because now I'm forever reminded, especially in the first movie, my voice was really, really high, like I'd had helium or something. Um, And I think third one, take more pictures or yes. write things down more because when it's ha- I, I always remember my grandfather saying make a scrapbook I'm like ah, no I'd be okay but looking back it's it's quite nice that it's kind of documented as it is but I know that there's we still like just today we're talking about things which happened which I completely forgot about so it'd be, it'd be good to have remembered all those things I'll always remember nice. the first day of our shoot we were in Gothland in Yorkshire in Yorkshire Moors and it was the first thing we ever shot was the last scene of the movie of Harry getting back on the train. And I remember that was the first time I learned that films weren't shot in sequence. And I just remember everybody coming together for that. We literally took over this tiny little village. And then that's kind of, I think that month of location shoot really did make everyone very close. But then when we came back to shoot at the studios, it was, we all knew each other and we all had a great atmosphere when we were here to shoot. Um, but my, my overriding memory of the first movie would be when we first walked into the Great Hall for the first time because it was exactly like yeah. the scene when Harry and Ron are walking in and everyone's looking around with their mouths open. It was exactly like that. The Quidditch in the third movie, I remember being one of the hardest days ever filming because it was in the rain. So not only are you wet, they also spray you with more water when you get up on the broomstick. And there's a giant fan making it look like you're flying so to give like the wind effect and it being absolutely freezing. Mm. That would be my... Yeah. My one memory of anything like being tricky, that would be it. We were spoiled yeah. with everybody here, like not just the adults, but the, the uh, younger members of the cast, shall we say. Everyone was very, although we had a good, good laugh, everyone was very professional. And I guess that did stem from the adult actors. Having Julie Alton and Mark Williams as our parents in the scenes and the, all the movies definitely was an, a great experience because we could always just chat with them for any kind of um, like bit of advice from them. But one I remember when, and another person which I didn't really work so much in the scene, but speaking to Offset was Michael Gambon. Like he was always so giving with his time. And just always, like he was, I cannot speak highly enough of him because he was, was very, if he, if he told, if I told him that he, I was doing a show, a, a different production somewhere else, he'd ask if I had the script. And if I did, he'd sit down and talk me through it. Like you, you don't expect things like that from people, but they, um, that always stayed with me.